Hello, Ellen. It's good to see you. Thanks for being here in person. Thanks for having me here in person. I like the entire ensemble. There's I a lot going on. I like, and I like the shirt, and it, does it have a meaning? Because I don't understand it. These are, uh, <laughs> these are uh, my dogs, Meatloaf and Potter. Oh. And I, I, drew, I drew my dogs on my own sweatshirt. You drew this? Yeah. And yes. I won't apologize. Yeah, I deserve a round of applause. You certainly do. I, I like it, and I, I appreciate you being here. As I said, I have a feeling it's because we have a live audience, and you're craving that. Oh yeah, this is this is my sold-out crowd right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, haven't heard that sound in a long time. <laughs> Applause. Yeah, because you're shooting without an audience right now. Yeah, shooting without a lot of an audience, and as you know, you know, like going up on stage and on comedy touring, all that's done. So it's just uh, finding ways of entertaining oneself or being entertaining, basically online. I tried to do. I tried to learn piano. That that is that what that, you're doing during qu quarantine? Bas basically, I thought it might be entertaining to show people that I'm plinking away and like getting better. Did you have a piano already? No, I went and bought a, a keyboard, like a little keyboard. Oh, a keyboard. keyboard. <laughs> yeah. And, and did you learn? It's, it's now a, just a, a furniture piece. Uh, <laughs> OK. Well, you say you can't really get on stage. Uh, Dave Chappelle has you know, his thing in uh, Ohio. Mm -hmm. And you're a pilot. You could fly yourself there and do something. Yeah. Dave and I know each other quite well. I'll just say, I'll call Dave up. I'll say, hey, <laughs> I'm popping in on your thing. <laughs> I'm just gonna come by and crash your little thing. I'll I'll connect you two because he would love to have you there. Sure. But you're you're a pilot, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I I've been flying for about oh, I don't know about five years now. Wow. And the cool thing, this is I love this about him. You're you you're a pilot and you pick up dogs from certain states and fly them to uh, be adopted in other states. You you're picking up and flying dogs that need to be rescued. Yeah. What's the name of the organization? Yeah. There's this organization called Pilots and Paws, uh -huh. which acts as kind of like a, a bridge to various rescues and maybe, so like a shelter will be full and another dog needs to go to another shelter that has room or maybe has a medical emergency, this dog or cat or something, or maybe they finally found a forever home and you as a, pi a private pilot can volunteer your airplane and your time to help get That's this. so great you yeah. do that. What's the most, how many uh, dogs can you fit on your plane? Uh, it depends on the size. <laughs> the most I had was three. There was like a Doberman, <laughs> some little terrier thing, and a little puppy of something, like a Chihuahua puppy. That How? was on the lap, and then <laughs> those other dogs are in the back. How do you not rescue every dog that you put on that plane? <laughs> a lot of them are really sweet pets. It's kind of, it's, you know. Do you have a dog? Yeah, I got two. Oh, of course you do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, two. There they are. Oh, yeah, look. Yeah, there they uh, are. Look at that. Oh, God, that's fashion. Look at the fashion that's going on. That beautiful one. Oh, this kid knows how to dress himself. <laughs> so did you rescue them from one of those trips? I, I had rescued them uh, prior. Meatloaf, the, the little one, the, this, this little monster. That, that one? Got her from a shelter. And then actually, when I first moved to LA, I was walking her around, and Potter came out the bushes, and he was all like torn up and stuff. So I, t I, I helped him out. Oh, that's great. And they get along. They like each they other. They hate each other. Oh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> They're well, mortal enemies. Sometimes dogs don't get along. You no. never know. Well, it, that's, I just love that you do that. Oh, um, all right, let's talk about Be Positive. Um, sure. I know a little bit about it, but tell everybody what, it, what the storyline is. Um, well, Be Positive is about a guy who uh, maybe has a little prickly, doesn't have too much friends. He finds out that he has a kidney. He's going into kidney failure and needs a new kidney. And no one that he knows will donate their organs, so he bumps into randomly someone he knows from high school, played by Annalie Ashford, and she is a total whirlwind, and she volunteers to give him their kidney. And boy, are they gonna learn some, <laughs> some things about each other along the oh, way, I can tell no. you. Oh, no. Hi, Jensen Sue. Oh, my goodness, every Thursday, you can, you can bet your bottom dollar on it. <laughs> <laughs> and you play a father. Is that weird to be a dad on, a, you have a kid now on a sitcom. Yeah, it is weird, especially, uh, yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I never feel, I never look in the mirror and go like, That's, that looks like a dad. <laughs> I feel like maybe, I, maybe I, I feel like I'm too skinny to be a dad. I feel like every dad's got like more paunch on them. I don't uh -huh. have a paunch yet. Yeah. I'm like wasting away in the pandemic while yeah. every dad is like gobbledygook. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe there are skinny dads. 
There are skinny dads. Okay. <laughs> hey, to skinny dads. <laughs> to skinny dads. Yeah. <laughs>